It's now time for Gary Radnich from the Jack in the Box Sports Desk. All right, good everybody. Good Sunday for the Raiders. There was a victory over Pittsburgh and a bird flip for national attention. Here is Oakland's defensive coordinator, Jason Tarver, twice flipping the bird. And the NFL office in New York actually was alerted by Mike Pereira, who used to be head of officials. Now he's on the Fox network. So he did it twice with a couple of F-bombs thrown in. The last coach to give the officials a middle finger was fined $40,000 back in 2010. Trust me, this guy didn't have $40,000 to throw around. He's an assistant coach. But indeed, when you win, look at the motivation of this guy. If you lose, they go, look at that darn fool. But anyway, Tarver, at the end of this, received a lot of national attention because the Raiders, back of uh, young Terrell Pryor, did beat Pittsburgh, hanging on 21-18. Here goes Pryor. 93 yards on the first play of the game. It's the longest play from scrimmage in Raiders history, the longest run by a quarterback for a touchdown. Pryor and his coach feeling good. That's a very fast start. I mean, put up 21, and then, you know, uh, we we just got to keep on punching, you know. We got to find a way to keep on punching and uh, keep getting getting drives alive in the second half. And, uh, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm very proud of the offense. I know we didn't have a lot of big names. You know, we, we, we probably wouldn't do very good in Hollywood. But, uh, but those guys, you know, I knew they were football players. You know what he meant by that? Hey, you guys didn't give me a lot of good players, but look what I've done with them. But uh, anyway, Raiders are three and four. Were the 49ers that good or Jacksonville that bad in London yesterday? 83,000 fans turned out waving the flags. The Jaguars, as we repeated all last week, were winless and the 49ers just starting to go they scored touchdowns on their first four possessions Frank Gore went in twice Kaepernick rushed for a couple of scores uh, they're now six and two heading into their bye week and Catherine one more time I'm tired of it but you love to hear Vernon Davis talk about being in London London oh. why not oh. Awesome city, awesome city. Uh, I was very intrigued uh, this year. Um, look forward to coming back again. Uh, I love the city. I mean, if I had an opportunity to move here, I would. So you'd play for a franchise here if there was one one day? I would, I would. Wow, All right. loves London. Catherine, I, I grew up in San Jose, right? I now <laughs> I live in San Francisco. But what if every day I came in and said, Catherine, let me tell you about growing up in San Jose, what a great city is. Wouldn't you get tired of that? Well, it's kind of cute that they love it that much. He wants to move there, for God's sake. Look at me, and yeah. look at me good. If they had just played in New York, you know what he would have said? What? I'd like to move here someday. If they had just played in Guatemala, you know, I'd like to play here someday. These guys, he's, he doesn't know where he wants to live. He's a football well, player talking. And then who was it who wants to look for a wife in England? Exactly. Exactly. That was cute. Okay, that was cute because at least it involved the opposite sex. This guy was just. Uh, do I sound grumpy about yeah, this? Because I'm just tired of hearing a week. Pe people like you <laughs> take away the. Spe See, all I care about I'm is sorry. the game. I like London. Yeah, you're too him. well rounded. I want the game. The grin. I don't know what I want. All right, the last thing Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy need is more money. But today in China, they dueled in a let's get richer exhibition. Nice. All right. Because <laughs> well, well, they're wondering, geez, all that fanfare, and they should have gotten a bigger car to get out of. But anyway, the back nine, there they go. McElroy caught Woods with a birdie on the 14th, pulled ahead on the 17th, beating Tiger by one shot. He pocketed $1.5 million. On the negative side, again, don't feel sorry for Tiger. He made $70 million last year, but EA Sports announced today it's ending their 15-year relationship uh, with Tiger and his video games. Warriors open the regular season Wednesday at Oracle against the Lakers. Steph Curry's ready to go. Just get our bodies ready, our minds clear for what we got to do on, on Wednesday. And it's a great opportunity, so we're looking forward to it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think we've lost the last two home openers. Uh, so looking forward to starting on a better foot this year. I love Curry. We cut it off, Kathy. You know how he ended? He says he lo loves he to loves live in Oakland. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we know. Maybe he loved London. Too. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right. When we return, have you seen the television show Shark Tank? That's Mark Cuban's vehicle. It allows entrepreneurs to come on and pitch their idea. If successful, well, uh, they receive money to start their business, a business that has helped Shane Talbot hit the jackpot. 
Shane's got a jacket on that's worth more than our studio. Look at him. <laughs> Kathy, you talk to Shane, and you're all fired up. Yeah, because oh. that's, a, that's a tough thing to do. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Shane Talbot is a rich man, and he's going to share... I may even share for the, the first 10 people to call in, Shane will give them a little something, huh? Uh, I, I, don't, I didn't know <laughs> that. No, Shane, don't worry about that. I'm just <laughs> pulling your leg. But this is interesting. Mark Cuban, owner of the Mavericks, Mr. Entrepreneur, had his show, and Shane and his partner hit it big. We'll talk about it next.